let's get into today's video. I want you guys to meet my multi poo Henry. I just got him. I've had him for like a little over a week now. P.S. Shout out to all the women who have kids. You are the real MVP. You really are. Like, the women who have more than one kids, you deserve all the praise. Because this dog is making me double think whether I want children or not. new puppy his name is Henry he is a Maltese mix with poodle he is 2.6 pounds he's 2.6 pounds and I named him Henry he is he is nine weeks old today today he turns nine weeks and I named him Henry off of King Henry of England because I like royal names I just I just like names that have history and are kind of great okay so if you guys follow me, sorry, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would already have known about Henry because I posted a picture of him on the day, not the exact day when I got him, but I posted a picture of him. I got him for my anniversary gift from Baba and let me just tell you guys because I was trying to watch some videos on puppy care or things that you should do when you have a new puppy and I didn't see any videos and I've had a puppy before you guys know about Privilege, my dog, he's six years old this December but there are lots of things that they just don't tell you for one, the first night that we got him we, they said that over in the states um, I've never seen anybody in Jamaica really do this where I'm from and I've never done it but here in the states they have this thing called crating where they keep the dogs in like a crate and it's kind of like a little you know like those traveling things that you travel with a the dog? They kind of keep the dogs in those for like throughout the days or when you're gone or whatever. I don't really believe in this creating thing. I think it's kind of harsh. But according to what I've been reading online and videos that I've watched, they say that the dogs like it. They feel safe. I don't know about that to be honest. But um, they said that the dogs like being in there. We couldn't get him to stay in the crate. So we put the crate in our room. And we had the crate door open because he wouldn't stay in there with the door locked. And every two hours, the first night that we got him, every two hours he woke up. Because they said that you need to feed them every two hours when they're like so small and like they're like eight weeks or seven weeks. So we had to get up. Well, he woke us up. He makes like these loud, screeching, squealing noises and wakes us up every two hours. I remember the first time he, he like woke us up. I didn't wake up. I woke up and I saw Baba with him like over his shoulder like so like like this you guys and then he fed him um, made him use the bathroom and then put him back in there and he woke us up two hours after again the same thing happened at the end of the night for the first three nights Baba had to sleep with him on the floor because he didn't want to be in the crib by himself he wanted to be in the bed with us so um Baba slept on the floor with him for the first three nights, but now he's fine. We have him in a we have him in a little area caged off, not like a crate. We have an area for him that we've created, a big enough area with his bed and his plate and everything. When you bring home a puppy like this, when they're so small, you do not want to give them full access of the house because he can chew on cords or swallow something. It's kind of like having a new baby. So yeah so we kind of have him in this little area just until he's old enough to like roam the house carefully potty we're currently doing potty training with him and that's not the hard part like potty training a dog is not 
hard. A lot of people think it's, oh my God, it's like the hardest thing ever. It's not hard. It's just positive reinforcement that you're doing. So when you bring them outside and they use the bathroom, you, you know, rub their head and say, good boy, and give them a treat. So they understand that every time I do this, I'm going to get a treat. It's just, you just have to keep reinforcing that act with like a positive thing. If that makes any sense. I don't know how many of you did psychology, but yeah, that should make sense. Um, but yeah, I love him. Um, He's such a sweetheart. He's so clingy and so needy, but I adore him so much. Henry has a couple things that he likes to do. So his favorite activities are running around in the grass, eating foreign objects, things that he does not know. And his favorite song is Bitch Better Have My Money by Rihanna. Because whenever that song comes on, he is like jumping around like a mad person. Like, do you see him? He's so active. It's been raining for the past two days, so he hasn't gone outside to get, like, his daily exercise, so he's kind of cranky. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed my new puppy, Henry. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!